With great success also comes a great curse. The better you are at something, the more people will try to borrow from you. Which is not inherently a bad thing. It is good to have competition that is pushing you forward. It is bad to have people who just steal your game. And when it comes to Riot, this is definitely nothing new for them. In fact, in the past, Riot won quite a few fights against copyright infringement. All of which was definitely justified. And yet again, only two months ago, a whole new challenger has arrived. And you know it's gonna be a fun one when you launch the game using... that icon. The game I'm talking about is Warspell Team Tactics RPG. I wish I made that name up. At first glance, you may notice that this is not a MOBA. A proper MOBA would take a bit more effort to make. No, instead, this is the ruling king of mobile games, which is AFK fighting. You know, raid Shadow Legends. And yeah, as you can see, it doesn't really look like a big League of Legends ripoff. Look, it even has its own cutscenes. Submit to me. Cassandra, what? What are you doing? Let's make some babies, my king. <laughs> but the curse begins when you actually look into the playable characters. I say playable, but it's AFK fighting. It's an oxymoron. Also, all credit for the footage goes to player 7. I am not installing this game on my device. So, let's have a look at the character that's on the front of this game. Arthur. That's just Garen. No, I really mean, that's actually Garen's animation from Wild Rift. It is literally reanimated frame by frame, down to the camera work. But what's worse, if you look at the background, that's Demacia. Like, that's just a repainted version of the Demacian background from Wild Rift. Well, we are off to a great start. Next, we have questionable mixture of uh, Kane and Thresh, but you'll see that this is not really a Thresh. That one comes later. Though it is weird to see uh, the Kamavoran sigil on his clothing. Anyway, also, you may notice that as we go through all of these characters, uh, they do have Doran's items. Like, literally. Those are Doran's items from League. Next, there is Roruk, which I might say is actually a pretty cool original character. This one actually looks cool. Uh, why does he have Karma's abilities? And also the ultimate is traced from Aphelios. Oh god, let's move on to, um, uh, Frosty Leona. Like, yeah, I really mean, that's Frosty Leona. Once again, it is reanimated from Wild Rift. Though, to be fair, her abilities are actually Anivia's Q, Anivia's Wall, and Tarik's Passive. So she's ripping off three champions at once. After which there is Omi, another original character. I mean, as original as a fairy can be. But to hide the ripoff, they had to use the old Maokai's ultimate. After which there is Nikita, a character that can be summarized as the daughter of uh, Sivir and Katarina. Take that for what you will. However, she's actually not using Katarina's abilities. That is Talon's Q and Sivir's abilities. Also, once again, did you see the background? Like that is literally just f***ing Noxus. It's framed exactly like Noxus is in Wild Rift. I am constantly using the Wild Rift backgrounds in all of my videos. I know this place goddamn well. Well, let's move on onto the Evoker from Dota. Oh well, next. Ah, oh, that's Twitch. With Timo's abilities. All right, quickly, next one. Okay, Vincent. Vincent is an original character. There is no ripping off with the cloak. It is just a coincidence that it looks like Rakan. It is some kind of a Damasian puppeteer. No links to Jin. Absolutely no links with the splash art whatsoever. All right, Golper. Original name. Definitely doesn't indicate what the champion is actually doing in the game. And it has no relation to Tom Kench. At all. None. Next, Nard. Okay, to be honest, this actually looks pretty dope. It is some kind of a gnome flying on a mechanized wasp. Though he does have, I believe, Heimerdinger's W. So how about Wundor? A pretty generic dwarf with a rifle, 
who has just about every ability from either Graves or Tristana. Oh wait, that's uh, Misfortune's E, I believe. And then, finally, we had to have Rakan, so now we have Zaya. Like, that's, that, that's just Zaya. All of her abilities. It's ju that's just Zaya. And then there is Skova. Or is it Pantheon? Well, the user Miovio discovered that, uh, yes, it is in fact Pantheon. With the animations, yes, yeah, yeah, that's it. And of course, next there is Iliad, the male version of Kale. I really appreciate not only the abilities just being Kale's, but also he has the Targonian sigil on his chest. Like, that's just the icon of the Targonian spear. And finally, there is Quip, a mixture of Jinx and LeBlanc, which is in reality just Jinx. Like, yeah, you'll see that personality-wise, it's it, it's just fantasy jinx. She doesn't have rocket launchers, but she has magic and staffs and wands and she's a wizard, I guess. So, um, why does she have Twisted Fate's abilities? Oh, well, Lyra! Why does she have Evelyn's heart? Like, really, that's the shape of Evelyn's heart. You know, with the little thorns that, that, that are mimicking her tails? What the hell is going on? Gore! That's Alistar and Orn. That's it. He has axes though. But then there is also Igos! A totally original character from the north wielding a big club. Who is an orc, not a troll. It's not a troll, this is an orc. Very big difference. Also, I am pretty sure that's Alistar's Q. Then there is Dead May! Okay, all jokes aside, it is just Wukong. Down to the clones and everything. Which is followed by Thaddeus. Now this is actually a genuinely cool design. It is such a shame it is just ripping off Vladimir. Nope, that's a lie. When you look at the abilities, it is in fact Swain. That's what the big hand and the demonic themes are about. But then... Azir got a big upgrade. So big that his normal kit was not good enough, so they gave him a uh, Syndra's ultimate. And her W, I'm pretty sure. Then you can see that Jenna started appreciating lightning a little bit more. She did still keep her Q, but uh, she also got Zeroth's and Cannon's abilities on top of that. But then... Then we get the counterpart to Thresh. Now, how do we know this is Thresh, despite the fact that she does have the lantern and she is on the Shadow Isles? Well, yet again, it is the animation, which was straight up ripped off from Wild Rift. But don't worry, there is another character that is also ripping off Thresh, and that is Avra. Yeah. I've seen that ability somewhere before. But of course, we also need some Voidy abilities, so there is also Zatros, who is also using the apostrophe in the name because, uh, that's how you know it is a Voidborn. Even though this thing has nothing to do with Void or anything like that. Though it does have Rek'Sai's Borrow ability. And then there is Lilia. It's, it's just Lilia. It's, 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 it has the bowling ability. And Soraka's healing abilities. Which is followed by Zed. That's just Zed. Down to the abilities, down to the fact that it summons clones. Down to, of course, the animations. And yes, just to confirm that the Jinx is just Jinx and not LeBlanc, there is an actual LeBlanc. Again, she has the clones, she has the magic, that's her. Now apparently this game also has the Titans, which I think are supposed to be the big bosses which you AFK fight. One of which is a big frosty guy with a shield. Uh-huh, alright. With another Titan being Shivana. It's, it, it's Shivana. But yeah, that's really what I wanted to show you. This game is just full of ripoffs. Most of which are aimed at Wild Rift, but I wouldn't be surprised if some of these actually came from Dota. The thing is, if you look at their official website, which is quite tiny to be honest, you can see that the official art actually looks awesome. They had to have some insane artists working on all of these. But at the end of the day, all of those designs are just ripped off. Like for some of these, even the splash art is just taken from League. Be it Nidalee's splash art, which is used for the Pantheon ripoff, or just straight up a Jin clone. 
Not to mention that, yeah, they do also have Viego, who is walking through the portals, which, you know, that's what he did using the Black Mist. And yes, they do also have their own world map, which is kind of as generic as you can really get with the world map. It's just a bunch of regions with hard cuts between the environments. There is no reason for a desert to be where it is, and there is no reason for the desert to kind of have like a hard cutoff. Normally, the regions would kind of spill into each other like they are supposed to, but who cares? What's important is that all the hard work was done for them by other artists who designed some really cool champions, and uh, yeah, that's actually Jinx. Like, that's actually, like, Fortiche uh, is not gonna be happy about this one. 